What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this episode, we're still fighting in India. However, um, the tide has very much turned against the Mughal forces. So let's smash up yet another Mughal army. Our forces are marching uh, endlessly onwards. And we are now at a point where we are able to clean up the last pockets of Indian resistance um, in the eastern central area of India. Then we can push on towards the Middle East and then potentially start up a war with Russia because they own Persia so that will at least that will um, open up some new enemies for us to face. Let's get my gunners up on the high ground so they've got lots typically for well, the, the, the Marathas have a reasonable amount of cavalry in, the, in their force but if we stand firm we will be able to repel them reasonably well so we don't necessarily have to worry about pursuing the enemy right, that's like that's definitely very much ideal we don't have to prioritize it because we do have a a lot of armies in the area for any subsequent follow-up blows that are needed. The main thing is going to be about making sure that we target. Well, first of all... Get my artillery... Open fire... Okay, so there's a big cavalry push on the left flank. On the right flank, rather. I mean, if they're just going to come into us like this... Then... Yes, my skirmishes can stay in their original positions to hedge off those Bajir Lancers from coming in. Send one native troop into the into the um, musket fight. And if Indarian Horsemen are broken, just see if we can kill, just kill as many as we can. Nothing else, just try and shatter them, but I don't know whether we're going to get that. Enemy camels are committing on the right flank. Oh, look at that. Canis shot shredding through the musketeers. Alright, let's make sure I'm targeting reasonable things. We're not overly bothered about the enemy. Enemy, um, artillery so camels and camels versus cavalry is usually very biased in favor of camels uh, however we do have melee infantry in the area ready to help out God, late game Late game Western firepower, it's so awesome. Uh, who are you? Ooh, Bajir Lancers. They haven't committed yet. They're committing this way. Bring my native warriors in against the pikemen. Skirmishes up on the flank. Hold the flank in on the left. Okay, that diamond's going to wheel into my skirmishes unless I can hang it with my 
Better the infantry. There we go. Native warriors are now scrapping with the pikemen. Dervishes have routed through my line. Get Mr. Pitt out onto the field. We need to start clearing up some of these units. No, you run this way. You all my artillery. Get the general's bodyguard. Tribal auxiliary, come after the gunners. Deal with enemy general. <laughs> you blasted him with his horse. With shrapnel shot. Get over here, general. Try quick climb the desert warriors. Artillery. Engage the Desert Warriors because the only units left fighting us at the minute. Okay, get my artillery to cease fire because my cavalry is coming in. Kill the general, so we don't need to worry about the general bodyguard. You go after them, you go after them. Damn right, we're going to continue. Uh, don't worry about the general's bodyguard. We're just looking to get close enough to the pikemen that they spin around to fight. Yep, yeah, there they go. So we don't need to slaughter the enemy, because we've got plenty of troops in the area, but it's still nice. Good. Don't worry about them. They're probably going to escape anyway. Yeah, they just managed to run. A barreling cavalry in. To make the pathfinding a bit better. There we go. One Hindu musketeer left. There he is! Get him! The last desert warrior. Who died of a heart attack or something. One can only imagine. Nice. 310 men remaining. <laughs> Back they go. March! Stupendous job. Advance up to the high ground. Evan J is depleted, but not ever so. Do you try? You're not in a position to do anything. You might halt. Actually, can, you can storm forward and deal with them. Yes! They can manage being not um, monitored. I would like to auto- I'd like to auto resolve, really, because it's all- Virtue and valor uncovered. Both those units are just gone. Yes. Let's get reinforcing. Sir. So it's Evan J's force that needs extra reinforcement, but not a lot, not a huge amount. Ready for orders. Because that pocket's very much tidied up. So what we probably want. So you're going to go for Srinagar. You are going to go for yeah, this crossing point. You are going to run for the bridge. Let's just start to cut off the enemy's flow of reinforcements. You are going to go try secure this fort. Don't need two body houses here. Don't need a military governor's barracks here either. Okay. Yeah, the main yeah, it's the mainly called this crossing point here that they're able just to push out, push out into our territory. 
Okay, first of all, Marlon Rose, you're going to take Nagpur, which is their current capital, but will not be their capital for very much longer. Yeah, I think we've, we've the tipping point has very much been reached here in India. There's one last force in the east, and apart from, and until, well, and <laughs> for now, it's just going to be a question of maintaining the offensive. Pushing up to the river, covering the crossing points, then crossing to attack Zahedan and Afghanistan. And then stack up on the border of Persia, Russian controlled Persia. Okay. These men are going to go into town. Infantry, infantry detachments on either flank advancing secure the edges of the town Marlin Rose okay let's see if I can be really cheeky probably won't be able to fire from that area. Well, no, all the. You know what? I might give it a go. Because all of their wagons are all behind them. That's usually the problem. Yeah, they're opening up. normally into the town because you have to advance like up that hill. This infantry advance at speed up to, up to this point because we might get into an actual bit of an engagement on the left flank. Cavalry advance. Range to shrapnel the Bargier lances. Fancy charging my infantry down in the, on the low ground. Square, they're gonna charge into you. Grenadiers don't care. The infantry behind is gonna push up as well. They've downed a few men from the saddle, but not enough. Look a wave crashing onto them. Oh god! Friendly fire quick climb! It's it. <laughs> that single-handedly destroyed my cover. What a cost. That was exceptional. One gun team go for the infantry guards, one go for you, one go for you. Okay. Let's start to 
push units through the town. They are shattered, excellent. Grenadiers, get the infantry guards, everybody else we can kind of not really worry about. Hillary engage as a count. Quick line still firing, switched around shot. Engage the cows. Forward, you might be able to deal with this fairly rapidly. Just give everybody orders just to run up here. Hillary ceasefire. This regiment of horses is going to murder down the armed populace. This heavy cavalry is going to charge into the rear of the Firelock Arm populace. Ban a charge. Winning decisively. over one unit towards that unit of armed populace. They brought the people out to try and save themselves, but it hasn't really worked. Shattered. Shattered. So were it not for my own forgetfulness, by the light cavalry may yet have survived were it not for me and my orders to the gunners. Ah well, easy come easy get whipped. Light cavalry's gone. Magpar is ours. Destroy the government building. Get it repaired. Let's get my general to sit outside of the town because they're going to recruit. They're going to call up a unit of company cavalry. So infrastructure, let's get better roads. Ready and awaiting orders. Uh, knock down the brothel. Raid the mine. Cool, okay. Really, I need some of these rear echelon Sir. armies to move up quite rapidly. Gonna lay siege to Lahore for another turn. Siege works underway. Okay, we're not going to end the turn yet, though, because actually, one thing I need to check. Make ready, ready, and awaiting orders. You get one of them, sir. You're going to steal a unit of infantry, because then no. Jareth Knight—that's an army that can be committed. For crown and country. Sir. They may actually. Right? Do I start? Yeah, you're one of my garrison, one of my football armies. Although to be Conrad Coulson, no, you're one of my armies. That's one of my navies that's done some capturing. Let's put you into York for repairs. These ships repaired. Okay, let's take selection of infantry to peers. So you want 24 pounder, two 12 pounders. Oh, we've lost two Continental Marines. 
units. That's pretty cool. I mean, sad, but cool, because we get to recruit them again. Dragoons, okay. Native auxiliary. Or we get some... Uh, two units of volunteer infantry, plus a line infantry unit. Oh no, not a line infantry unit. You need cavalry. Something like that. Oh no, you don't need cavalry. In which case, yes, have your infantry. Awesome. Okay, now it's so it's kind of tempting to commit this this army because they are a more interesting one with some cool American units. We can't do that, sir. Forward, march. Underway. Any orders? Okay, let's get you men embarked. Men, forward. I'm going to want to start stockpiling some troops for the inevitable war with Russia. And it is inevitable because they own Esfahan. And we need to get through that. Uh, anyway, what are we up to next? Oh, you're waiting on these guns to arrive. That will slow you down. But we're now into... Austrian capital territory. Let's get one force to cover the Alps to the south. You start to push up as well. You're waiting on something from somewhere. Uh, yes, I forgot. We are actually at war with Hanover now. Right, you need one gun team, one cavalry team. Although you're probably one of something from one of these down here, if I had to guess. Sir. Heavy cavalry plus. We've already got heavy horse guard artillery. We don't need two. Something like that. Cool. Württemberg is still loath to be garrisoned. Okay, but you're a full strength. Right, so that's what I want to do is take Andrew Finch. It worked. Lay siege to the city of Hanover. Giles Henley come in and smack that army right there. So they will call in some of their Austrian allies, but they're all universally pathetic. With this fight, we will destroy the Hanover army in the field. We'll destroy the remaining Austrians that would seek to use Hanover as a base of operations. And then that will pave the way for the capture of the city itself. Excellent. Excellent. Good, good, good. The enemy army mostly consists of a massive block of infantry. We do want to keep some reserves because we're going to be flanked by the Austrians to the left. However, you would think they would be they wouldn't be crazy enough to try and stop us. So let's create. So this is our contingent to deploy. Uh, we've got a bit of a high ground here for artillery to deploy. Let's deploy a... That's probably enough of a front line. Fusiliers, you can join... Well, actually, let's probably make two detachments of two units, one kind of waiting on each flank to deploy. Cavalry's ready. Oh, almost. Okay, cavalry take position on the high ground, on the flanks. General in the centre. How it's is the how it's is gonna blast quick line. Oh, 
actually not in range yet. But it's the right flank that the enemies are going to come in. The enemy units are going to come in from. Okay, let's extend out our lines. Légion Britannique Dragoons. They're pretty cool. My, yeah, my foot artillery can engage their artillery, that's fine. Um, this cavalry advance and destroy this fragment of an army that's coming in to try to support the Austrians. Try and shoot, try and assassinate their commander. Almost got everybody ex else, everybody except the commander. I think, do we. No, we, no, we killed the commander. That, uh, that guy's the drummer. Kill the sharpshooters. Dijon Britannique foot. Yeah, we're knocking some good holes in them now. We've convinced their convinced their cavalry to commit. Cavalry's doing stupendous work on the flank. Australia guard. I mean, my light cavalry sharpshooters aren't the best in the melee, but they're good enough. Good hits. Night regiment Reuter. That's got to see you see one of you off at least okay, they're pushing up this combined battery engage their last unit of horse artillery General's bodyguards pushed into the line. They can do that. That's okay. Drop into square. Human engage the carabiner on the left. No, come on. more on the flank. See if we can repulse that last unit of dragoons. Doesn't look like we're going to. Drop into squares. Heavy cavalry go for, actually heavy cavalry go for the You guys reloaded. If you haven't, you need to push in rapidly. Okay, right, hold on. Hold your horses. How it says drop line, drop quick line somewhere in the center. Cavalry smash into their the Reuter regiment. Which, Drop into squares. Uh, square. Push forward. Capture the ground. 
large concentration in the center that's a bit spooky. Okay, this cavalry on the left has done a stupendous job in defeating the Austrian contingent, effectively single handed. Excellent. Push forward and attack the horse artillery. Get my howitzers to fire at actually one of you. Uh, one of my, one of my units has collapsed. Finally, probably under master musketry. Shoot at the carabiner. You men face off against that unit there. Advance into that block. Fusiliers push forward. Get my round shot in the unit to engage them. How it's quick climbing, how it's to go up to them. Excellent. Cavalry barrel through into the center and try and work your way into the rear of this line to commit the general. The general has fallen immediately. Giles Henley. Ride down the blunderbuss shotgunners. Okay, this infantry is more than have to deal with that Deutschmeister regiment. The men form up. General staff retreat. Quick climb while well, the infantry get out of the way. Push forward, men. Yes, my cassier came back. Kill these blunderbuss shotgunners. Kill all these precocious Austrians that thought they could intervene. Really, it's the Austrians that we're bothered about. We're not so bothered about the Hanoverians because we only want to, we want to push this army back so they can't reinforce the garrison. Oh god, excellent hit. This is their best effort, was trying to break through our centre, but we held. Austrian that remains on the field of battle. Ah, oh, to be honest, lots of these Austrian units are already going to die anyway. Nice. Very nice indeed. Heroic victory. But at what cost? At what cost will the general survive? No, he did not. Yeah, the Aust all the Austrian units have fallen. Hanoverians have fallen back to Berlin. Your orders? Let's get one of our... this. Curacier unit, you deserve to become a commander. Cornelius Dyer. 
Soldier from birth, plus one morale. Oh, two plus plus two to morale. All right, you men get to this bridge, cover against a potential eventual Prussian counterattack. Because that will happen. So then you're gonna actually you're gonna push up towards that bridge. Just to block the Prussians a bit. Sir. Your orders? You're gonna position ready to block this bridge. Okay, no, let's before we go mad, let's make sure I'm repairing everything that needs repairing. Let's destroy Hanover once and for all. These cowardly dogs that are on the flank of our defensive war. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I suppose that is a part of our defensive, a part of our defensive line against Austria to the north in Europe. They were facilitating uh, the attack of our enemies against us. So this is the terrible price they are paying for their questionable choice in allies. We will make them pay for their decision to support the Austrian dogs. So let's get set up. Let's get quick climbing. Let's knock out Hanover. Prussia will soon be over. We do oh, we've got so many Prussian territories we can take right now. Gunners set up. Howard oh, it's set up. They think they have a chance, and that's adorable. They will die. They will die horribly. Give us a breach. Uh, yes, we can actually reach the center. Misfire. Killed the enemy general, sir. That's what you get. So are you actually hitting us or hey wait, who's coming to help? The Prussians. Only two of them. Yeah, we need to try and uh, make a breach to help the Prussians out. Come on, quick lane. Give us some more dead cavalrymen. Now, oh, misses and misfires. Unit's gonna get annihilated by Mort fire. There is nothing I can do about it. Nothing else though. It will occupy their mortar fire. to defend your city we will make you pay dearly Ooh, one of our gun teams is very upset the men make a start to make some breaches in here Same, similar strategy. 
sharpshooters are going to be hitting the line. This unit of line infantry is going to scale the wall here. Try and secure the central gate. Grenadier guards are also going to be up here. We must try and help the Prussians. Oh, they're coming. ground quick line they can drop some shells in here they are going to get slaughtered no they're reloading shells away One good hits good hits exceptional hits they've aimed straight for my sharpshooters which is a good decision Double down with their attack. The breach is still being made. Here they come. My men reload. My howitzers reload. So you want to aim here, really. I should get good kits. <laughs> Just effectively using chemical warfare to exterminate the garrison. Oh, that coming out. Come on, you men, make your breach. bolster the defence but it's not going to work excellent now is now Maitland now is your time new men form up fusiliers are terrible for this let's get, let's get my skirmishes upon the wall grenadier guards cross over oh my Goon guards get in. Just try and run you guys in the breach. Take the militia. Kind of already get here and see if they can just run through the breach. To fire a round shot, try and engage the mortars. Oh, they're going to they're going to chog up the breach, so you men hold. Garrison guards try and get through. Try to get the cavalry through. Have all my Americans against the Germans. Let's bring the general up. Oh, the, uh, the mortars spread out. A 
line infantry kill that last man. Grenadier guards try to yeah, run down the breach this way. Here comes the 57th Regiment of Foot. Grenadiers, charge! I get my line infantry guards to shuffle through. Kill the 1st Hiverian Regiment, Line Infantry, kill the 13th Regiment. They've reinforced the wall. They unit of Line Infantry. Come on, men. Your Line Infantry guards. You will not be taken down by a unit of Line Infantry. Artillery fire is still rather ineffective. Okay, okay Crossier, break off the attack. Oh, it says ceasefire. Four men, five men. Try to run these units through the breach. Kill the last of them. These are the last units, or some of the last units, the, uh, the Hanoverians have that are not yet engaged. Killing the garrison, these mortar garrison troops, and kill the artillery crew. The commander is already dead. They are going to intercept my general. Broken, excellent. Broken in the center. Center, I'll back up my cavalry. Excellent. Just in case there's any confusion at all as to whose city this is. Spilled through the front. Good. Cavalry's gonna ride in and hit the second regiment. Oh, they gotta break soon. Surely. Twenty-six. Oh, the men on the walls have been defeated. Come on then, sharpshooters, get involved. The men defending the breaches who they've collapsed. Twelfth Regiment of oh, they've decided to break. The city is lost. Abandon your posts. Well, I'm not sure where you're planning on going there. The city is taken. Hurrah! Excellent. So it's going to take them a bit of time to accept us as their lords and masters, but they will accept it. You don't even have a university to get rid of. Excellent. Well, let's get upgrading. These lad unhappiness, but only in six turns. Upgrade the commercial port, build a sloop. Okay, so one thing we definitely want to make sure we are doing 
is powering up our navy because if there's one thing they've got an awful lot of it's naval forces okay i probably want to build just start you know start mass recruiting first rate ships of the line Um, okay, then take Turin. <laughs> so back off, back on the uh, accelerator here against Austria. And we hand over in Turin, two good cities to, to take. And then we've also got Savoy to the east, which can also potentially be potentially be captured. Depends on. Depends on uh, if the Austrians have any more troops to the east, really. I might even just put the city under siege and let them attempt to break out where I've got the defensive advantage. Excellent. Okay. Uh, bit of high ground on the left, but nothing decisive. How it's as far it will and whatever targets they deem appropriate. Probably going to be more on the left than the right. I will keep my cavalry on the right just in case. Got some units on the right, but not enough to make the difference. Just. We're going to advance like mad on the left. Only one gun here is actually shooting. Start to quick climb that unit. You men quick climb the gun. Actually, don't quick climb the guns, just quick climb the unit of infantry. Already dropped one set on the guns. The gunners, mash your fire against the 5th regiment right in front of us. are gonna hate me for this the terrible drill master this is the way to do it switch to round shot attack the carabiner direct my regiment of horse to deal with three pounders heavy cavalry get up here ready to flank round if necessary Oh, it's uh, switched around shot, engaged the carabiner. They fired into the back of their own men. And the militia are about to charge. Have at you. The cauldron of fire, though, is growing. <laughs> the longer you stay, the more encircled you become. Point at which it's only the carabiner left. The enemy general is dead! Poor, poor souls. 
They haven't lost very many men, but their position is quite untenable. That's Turin, and then on to Savoy, perhaps. Let's get rid of the university. Build a sloop. Yeah, probably not. Um, if we get rid of the university, that will do most of you, but not quite all. Can't quite upgrade yet. Put them under siege. If they come after us, we can defend against that quite nicely. Uh, you're going kind of south. Okay, everybody's pushing up. We could potentially attack Prague, but instead I'm going to position my troops right up in their face, ready for the final assault. You're going to whip around the north. Actually, you no, know, you weren't. You were meant to go here. Well, the very least go here, so that when war does begin, you can sprint to the bridge. Then up here to the east, one of you is going to run for Warsaw. The other is going to run for Lviv. Run for Lviv. You're in trouble now, and you're not even... Even if you do go for Hungary, you know, we are building up our strength again. Fort particularly. Awesome. Okay, let's... Chieri, getting rid of you. Okay, let's hit end turn. Reinforcements for you. You, that army may actually go south into Italy. As we get ready to... Advantage into Genoa as well. There we go. Now the Austrians are starting to go, uh-oh. Prague is the next target. They're massing to try and defend their capital. But they are vulnerable. They are exposed. And they're careful to stay outside of the range of our um, areas of interception. They've recruited some more troops out of Warsaw, by the looks of it. Uh, do I want to intercept? Uh, bridge battle, but potentially not. Potentially both sides. So no, you should have been eastward really here. Uh, I'm going to quickly fight this manually. Yeah, the army and the mines should have been further east. Otherwise, there's a risk that my river battle will have Austrian troops on both sides of the bank. And that is very much not optimal. Set up all the artillery. Okay, maybe I'd better actually sp sp lay this out a bit, at least a slightly intelligently. So many bugged artillery units. Put some units in front of the guns. Other than that, just. Bunch of these are bugged as well. Right, bugged foot artillery, bugged horse guard artillery, bugged howitzers. It's so beautiful. Ugh. Okay, they very, very nicely clumped into. Ooh. 
haven't been set, I think I might do. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of yet more Austrian troops. See you, everyone.